Hi everyone, this is the freehand Lisp routine. And in this Lisp routine, it essentially takes your object and makes it look like a freehand drawing. Just beware that you must and should make a copy of this object before you use the freehand command because it, uh, you know, takes, you can't really undo it. So first you have to load the freehand command. So we're going to load the freehand command and it warns you right here that you can't, you know, undo this. So you hit OK. And then when you actually run the freehand command, and it asks you a series of questions like your scale. I'm going to do a 1 for this scale. And uh, I'm going to do the defaults, which is 3 and 3 for the overlap and the wedges. And I'm just going to pick a chunk of this, just so you kind of get an idea. Of actually, I'm just going to do the middle chunk so you can see the difference between the two. Enter. So that's what it does, and it kind of makes it squiggle around a little bit. So uh, it works fairly well. If I do this again, and I'm going to try a different scale, I'm going to do 0.25 as my scale, and do this uh, more on the small side, 2 and 2, and then try it. Okay, that gives it more of a light squiggle, so you can kind of see the line work there of what it's doing versus like the actual detail. And it kind of overlaps the line too, which is nice, you know, where you have, there's one of those options is how far it kind of sticks lines over. Uh, now again, once you do this, there's no going back. So that is the freehand Lisp routine. Thanks. Have a great day.